How's it going, everybody? Z Man the Tech here. I want to thank you for tuning in to Snowly Games. As always, I appreciate you very much. And today, we're going to be taking a quick look at a new game that has come out not too long ago. I'm just going to actually skip through this here. Um, there we go. Dungeon Top Spell Sword Cards uh, just came out, um, published by uh, Cubic Games. And uh, yeah. I wanted to go ahead and uh, take a look at this on the channel, kind of showcase it, let you know what to uh, expect here. With a, uh, it's kind of a a tile-based, uh, perpendicular tile-based uh, strategy card game. Um, I haven't got far enough to know if I can actually attack diagonally or not, uh, but as far as I know, it is definitely perpendicular, and certain uh, certain cards have the ability to attack uh, by range. So you can go up a couple squares or whatever and uh, be able to attack certain enemies and things like that. So um, let's go ahead and I want I want to say there's a tutorial in the beginning uh, so we can kind of go through that and then uh, keep going. Okay. Phone just keeps vibrating trying to <laughs> put that thing away all right so we have here welcome to welcome to battle young hero you and the enemy hero begin in the and play on the battlefield uh, to win you must defeat the enemy hero by reducing them to zero hit points or HP while keeping yourself alive okay all right so right now they want me to pull from my hand uh, I'm just gonna kind of go through it uh, in a quicker manner that way we can get to uh, the meat and potatoes of the gameplay here so as you can see right now I have this card uh, with an attack of two and a uh, like a I guess your hit points you can say that's your hit points a little shield there they have a shield of three attack of two and we're gonna go ahead and uh, put it there all right and this is your main your main character card is always on the field to off rip and um, you know you have that op you have that option to move ahead uh, for your move. Um, but if you're not basically near an enemy to attack, then you can't uh, you can't uh, pretty much do anything. So you go ahead and end your turn. And as you can see, the card that I just put out has some uh, sleeping Z's over it. Uh, it. Means you can't really do any actions with it uh, upon um, placing it on the field there. So now I'm going to attack this card here. All right. All right. Now, this card down here is basically a targeting card, is what they call it, and it's in a it's in a direct a direct attack towards the enemy. Now, if they have a shield or anything like that, it will hit that first. Um, but yeah, it does cost. Uh, sometimes they cost mana. Sometimes they don't. Uh, you have to pay attention to that. Okay, well, I might read this one here. It says you may actively discard a card by dragging it over to the discard pile in the bottom right corner at the end of uh, at the end of turn. All remaining hand cards are discarded. Uh, read any card description by hovering over it. Now defeat the enemy hero to win the battle. Okay. All right. So what we'll do is uh, directly attack that. Oh, that's right. Hold on, let me highlight that real quick. Oh, it won't let me. That's fine. Um, all right, let's go ahead and attack directly. And I can't really see what this is. It's not highlighting it for me. So I don't know what I can do with it at the moment. That sucks. Okay, usually uh, as you're playing, uh, in a standard game, not in tutorial, you'll have the ability to hover over a card to see what uh, statistics and moves and things like that it has. Uh, at the moment, it's not letting me do that, so yeah, it is what it is. Okay. Boom. 
Tutorial complete. Congrats, you've won the battle. Then complete the tutorial. Uh, you may repeat the tutorial at any time from the main menu. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. Alright. Got in-game achievements, too, which is nice since, you know, uh, Nintendo Switch doesn't really have, like, a, a, I guess an architecture for that, unfortunately. Like, um, Sony has trophies and Xbox has achievements. So, the ones that are in, in the game... Uh, are incorporated in the game are nice to have. Okay. At the moment, I want to say I can only choose the warrior right now. Um, because I have to unlock... You have to unlock other characters with coins. A certain amount of coins, so... Uh... Okay, so Hand of Kareem. Uh, known also as the King's Guard. These... Those loyal to the kingdom of Karim often uh, employ warlocks and support practice of the dark arts. Okay, interesting. Guardians of Helm. Originally, the local militia of Helm was formed by the workers in the mines. Due to repeated attempts to steal their riches, Helm soon raised its own loyal family army. I said family, <laughs> lone army, uh, full of uh, rambunctious, rambunctious and hot-headed folk. Okay, I'm just going to leave it as pretty much uh, standard. Um, the cards do differ uh, with each allegiance, so keep that in mind. Um, I am going to stick with Guardians of Helm just to kind of get this thing going. So let's go to Create Hero. I'll just leave the standard name, but you, you have the option to change the name to personalize it if you want. Okay. Okay. And these uh, story sequences, I'll leave them up for a second. You know, pause the video if you want to read it. I'm just kind of skipping through. All right. So. All right, you have the option to go through doors. Uh, or you can kind of continue forward in the dungeon as it is. So, I'm not sure if those are locked yet. I haven't actually tried. I've only done fighting so far, so... Alright, so when you see an enemy and you uh, progress towards them on the map, you have the option to fight, or it'll give you a percentage of you being able, a chance to be able to sneak away. And you can also view their deck. Um, so say for instance you want to view the deck, right? The enemy decks usually aren't, they don't consist of much, so but yeah, you can highlight it and uh, kind of see what the power and hit points are. Multi-strike guy. Yeah, that's pretty dangerous. Unit can perform an additional additional attacks each turn. Okay, dagger throw. Deal one damage to different enemy targets within range two. Okay. So yeah, you can kind of see what you're getting up against, going up against, and if you want to run a sneak away or not, uh, it's kind of up to you. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and fight. Okay. You are playing first. This is your starting hand. Select any cards you wish to re redraw. The remainder will be kept. Okay. Um, hmm, that's a good card here. For a starting. I'm probably going to keep the hand. I'm going to keep all. Okay. Alright. And then as you can see on the bottom left area... Uh, somewhat near the bottom left there's that shows your your current mana allotment um so yeah the cool thing about this is that you can pretty much place uh as many cards as as far as that much mana that you have all right i'm just gonna go ahead and uh since this doesn't cost anything i'm gonna go ahead and just straight up attack him to the face okay and i have two mana left so let's go ahead and fill this uh fill this out here okay and we're pretty much done I can't really move any of the other cards because they've just been placed let's go ahead and end turn okay so I gotta watch out for that that enemy because they can attack twice um, it has looks like it has a uh, has HP of four so hmm Right, this 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 uh, item is pretty cool here. It is a shield that you can add to pretty much any uh, character. So I'm gonna buff this guy up a little bit. Okay, 
and we still have three mana so mana mana however you say it uh, yeah. Let's put that card out front okay I remember like I said as far as I know you can only attack perpendicular so um, you gotta keep that in mind when it comes to uh, where your placement is on the board oof okay All right, yeah I really need to get rid of that character there so um, all right, so what we'll do, we're gonna use this. What's the name of this thing? I didn't even look at that. I'm sure it has a name. It's weird, the highlight doesn't work all the time. Uh, maybe that's like some sort of issue. I imagine on the PC version, when you hover over it, it would have that same effect, but it might work a little better. I don't know, I'd have to... Uh... Oh, there we go, I put it down. put my shield on my guy just to make sh my main person just to make sure they're gonna be good um, okay let's move up and uh, it only t it only has an attack of one so I'm not too worried about taking too much damage I have a shield as well on the main character so not too concerned with that let's go ahead and oh wait see if I highlight him ah, I wish I could figure out how to make that work better so yeah uh, you know if the devs are watching right now uh, definitely let me know in the comments if there's a you know a more streamlined way to uh, highlight the card in question that way you can kind of see its attributes because it it's kind of iffy um, it seems to display at times and then at times it doesn't so yeah if you're watching this yeah definitely let me know in the comments I appreciate it uh, but anywho let's go ahead and continue forward here looks like he's pretty much locked in that's exactly what I wanted um, so he's he's got no choice but to throw out this card I'm pretty sure besides attacking because um, these these two aren't going anywhere unless they clear a path um, trying to see which one of these actually can attack two blocks up I don't have any right now um, but let's close in we're gonna end turn okay all right that guy's a burner card so no worries all right let's take this one out take this one out bomb let's go see easy as that it's pretty it's it's actually fairly easy to get into which I, I really enjoy um, some strategy card games tend to have a bit of a learning curve unfortunately and uh, you have to really invest a lot of time and in trying to understand its system this one not so much um, I pretty much understand uh, you know what it what's necessary what it wants you to do so to speak um, so for that I, de I definitely would recommend it for folks that are looking to get in the genre um, you know or anything like that or even folks that are in the genre would like a different change of pace this seems to be definitely um, the uh, kind of a go-to I think all right let's see what, what do we got here shove not back in adjacent unit by one space if it hits another unit apply stun to both does not affect a large unit huh that's interesting I might actually take that that's an interesting card um, let's see your hounds gain two power I don't know if I have any hounds so but yeah since I have so many available of these uh, what looks to be uh, the flare stones yeah uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab 
some more to add to the uh, repertoire <laughs> of my deck here. All right, so we have these spots here that are blacksmith. Um, you can upgrade cards. Uh, it, there is a particular cost to it. Um, usually it'll tell you what cards you have to sack if you don't have actual, you know, funds to do it. Um, so at least that's an option, though, you know. Uh, I think that's really cool. So if we see if we can soup up the uh, this card here. Oh, that's, uh, we get one free one. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and confirm that. All right, so we've got that level two. And oh, another thing is, if maybe in an update, like a later update, if possible, uh, it would be nice to be able to use D-pad or to swap, you know, the usage of what they do. Because I think D-pad actually does activate a particular, uh, a different function within the game. But I would like to move regularly with the D-pad as it's primarily default for the joystick. Not a huge concern, but it would be nice. The flexibility is a... Uh, is everything when it comes to you know mobility within a game so I would I, I would I would like to kind of throw that out there uh, let's see shield one treasure oh, you have to pay a treasure and the only treasure I have right now is this one uh, typically you want to try to hold on to your treasures um, depending on what they do uh, let's see passive when your health is reduced to zero heal for eight and destroy the unk of time okay uh, that seems like something that's pretty useful. So um, I'm not going to up, upgrade any more cards right now. I'm just kind of want to give you an idea of what things you can do in the game. Uh, let's go in here. Discarding smithing. You came across a temporary forge with some discarded tools laying around. There's oops. There's still heat in the embers. Upgrade a card. Uh, oops. See, I hit the. Uh, d-pad instead of the joystick I it, it looks like it shows you there is your treasures so okay hitting left shows you your stats hitting right on the d-pad shows your deck down shows treasures and up I do not know okay it just tells you it displays where you're currently at right on the vent I think I backed out of it and lost my chance to do it, unfortunately. So like, be careful with that. Um, yeah, if you get to a, a special spot like this, uh, excuse me, uh, make sure to do the action uh, required. Otherwise, you miss your chance to do it, unfortunately. So, all right. Anywho, let's go ahead and uh, let's take a look at the deck. Okay, power of two, hit points fourteen. That's the main card. Power of one, hit points one. <laughs> Give your minions one, one at the end of your turn. That's actually pretty decent. So you see those, you got to take them out. And they attack for three. So uh, they they don't have much life, but they can take a good, nice little chunk for the beginning of the game, at least is what it seems like. Okay. Oh, nice. We got some of the new cards in there. Well, see for a first, uh, for a first hand, I I kind of would want more. Uh, see now the the information pop up box is working as it should right now. Just yeah, to further iterate that uh, what I mentioned earlier. Uh, but in game, not so much. So. Um, I don't think I'm going to need this one where you push them back. Like, maybe the stun would help. Uh, let's redraw. Okay. Alright, so. Let's go ahead and add this to my main card. get these burner cards out there the pawns uh, or whatever <laughs> all right so I'm, I'm out of mana but now the cool thing about these cards as you can see when I place them again it's not highlighting it's not allowing me to, to check these stats but I want to say this one can attack uh, it has like a bit of haste is what they call and it allows you to attack even initially played on the field so uh, pretty nice to have uh, let's go ahead and move up a little bit here. 
people in the turn. Yeah, they don't have very much life, so yeah, there's that to consider. Ah. Hit them to the face. Now, those guys actually have shields, too. Bit of a pain in the butt, because they get a, you know, a bit of a freebie as, as far as taking a hit. Not having to worry about much, so. Yeah. I'm going to put that one there. Let's see. I don't know if that one can attack. Let's see if it lets me highlight it. No, it doesn't. I don't know if it can attack immediately or not, but... Uh, or if it can attack more than one block at a time. How much mana do I have? One? Okay. Uh... Fine, that's fine. Oh no. <laughs> Gotta get rid of that rat. For real, for real. Let's move him in. Start taking some real damage. Alright, let's uh, put a shield on my main character okay yeah, it's not letting me do uh, I can't push that I can't see I can't push anything back anyway in this current situation so all right let's go ahead and get all these out A lot of a lot of a lot of sleeping cards here, so I'm not able to do too much right now. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm kind of trapped. So, oof, yeah, that thing takes. I really gotta watch out for that card. Oh my gosh, this is not good. Go ahead and take him out. Okay. Yeah, that could have been bad. <laughs> that could have been bad. So, really watch out for that. Um, those specialty cards like that, that boost up other cards. Um, you really want to take those out as best you can. Let's see. Arcing 2, Ignite 1. Alright, may attack up to the number of squares indicated away, but not adjacent. Um... She takes three. That's actually pretty good. So, oops. Right, let's see. Grab those two. Okay. And as you level up, it lets you choose a talent. So you have usually have three. I don't know if you get any more than that at a time. Uh, but you choose out of those that you have here. Gain an extra flare stone at the end of the battle, which is actually pretty useful to get to gain more cards uh, as they cost a flare stone. Increase the drop rate of two and three star minions. Uh, hmm. Okay, at the end of each battle, heal two HP. That's actually pretty nice. I'm going to take that. Confirm. There we go. Okay, so where are we at HP-wise? We're at 10 out of 15 HP. So we have to figure out how to actually gain uh, health. It looks like there's a, an icon for potions, but I haven't seen any or collected any as of yet. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Uh, you definitely want to keep your uh, main character as far back as possible, um, especially if their HP is low. I'm going to fight this one right here. Uh, let's take a look at the enemy deck. All right. Just the main. Give adjacent friendly minions plus one power. Okay. 
negates all damage suffered in one instance. Remove this effect at the start of your turn. Uh, that's going to be a pain in the butt. Dagger throw. Okay. Two different enemy targets within range 2. That's actually pretty good. Um, so we'll have to be careful on this one too. Alright, I'll take everything here. I'm not very picky <laughs> when it comes to that. Alright, uh, let's see. Let's put him in front. Thankfully, the cards, I haven't really seen any any of them cost more than one mana, so... Um, you know, that's pretty cool. We'll put the uh, armor on this guy, since he's going to be going in. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, this guy can immediately attack, so... Yeah, he's not near anybody. So, I will... I will at least move him forward, though. Okay. Okay, now we gotta start making some things happen here. They both got shields, so uh, it's gonna be a pain in the butt to deal with. But might as well go ahead and attack the main enemy to the face. Okay, this guy can attack immediately, so we're gonna place him down. Knock that shield off. Knock that shield off. Uh, let's place this card up here. We got one mana left. This card attacks for three. It's gonna be sleeping though, so uh, this might be a bad idea to put it there, but uh, we'll see how things turn out. Um, attack to, f to the face. Um, oof. Oh gosh, okay. Well, they attack straight ahead. <laughs> okay, no, they're they're moving in for the kill, so this could be bad. Um, let's go ahead and attack. Move him over here. See if we can. I have to figure out how to use those because I haven't quite figured that out yet. Okay, so let's move this guy over and attack, and we'll be good. Cut to the chase here. Unfortunately, I did take damage to the main character because uh, he had a range attack there, so no biggie. Okay, let's highlight this. Spell, deal one damage to an enemy adjacent to your hero. If this uh, destroys the enemy, draw one card. Okay, well, that seems pretty cool. Let's grab this guy, that card, and maybe we can grab another with a uh, flare stone. Okay. Alright, so I'm at 11 HP out of 15. Um, still haven't taken one of these routes yet. But we're gonna... This looks kinda dangerous. <laughs> yeah, we got the multi-strike. Uh, what's this? Lose 2 health and gain plus 2 0 till the end of your turn. I guess that's attack. That's pretty dangerous. Yeah, so that shield they have in, uh, when they initially start is uh, is part of their uh, part of their uh, action that they do. Okay, I think I'm okay with all this. So. Let's go ahead and uh, oops, keep all. Alright, let's go ahead and take some attack off rip. Okay, and uh, yeah, let's get this dude up front. Yeah, getting attack from that, uh, that could prove uh, troublesome, I would say. Ok, 
Okay, give them at least a little... Oh, this guy, let's see. He can actually attack. So if I move forward and then attack... He pushes back too. Ah. I wish I could see that in, in writing there. Just, uh, slight issue, but it just doesn't display like when you want it to. So, Oh, that's nice. So this, this could be placed anywhere in those green spots. And he can attack upon being uh, placed on the field. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm out of mana, so let's uh, continue moving forward here. Should have moved him before I moved that one, but it's okay. Okay. That's understandable. And he's got a shield. Okay, watch out for that guy. Uh, I really want to just take that three. Oh, he, he attacks for three, though. Dang. Okay, thankfully these don't cost. Oh, let's see. How do you use it? Hmm. I guess because I don't have anything adjacent to it. I think that's what it was saying. Uh, let's see. Oh. Yeah, that sucks. He's going to get killed. I shouldn't have moved him. I'm going to have a reserve just in case. Mm, okay. I can move a few cards around, but I don't really... I mean, I might just move this one over further. And that's pretty much it. I kind of wish he didn't knock him back as much. But, uh, whatever. Put him to sleep. Yeah. I keep forgetting I place cards now and stuff. Yeah, goes to sleep. Ah, that sucks. Ooh. Taking them all out. Dang. Alright. That's fine. So what we'll do, move him over and just attack. Real tight. Alright. Let's see what we have here. Your hero makes an attack against all available targets without consuming action. Oh, oh it is broken. Alright. Um... Warcry chain. Give friendly minions plus one for, for this turn. While adjacent, friendly minions have ignite one. Ignite one. Apply charges of burn to, to the defender. Each turn they take damage equal to the number of charges stacked and lose one charge. Not moving removes this effect. Mm. Grab this one. Okay, we level it up again, and we gain 3 HP. That's what it was, yeah. We gained some of that HP back that we lost, so... I was wondering how I got... <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure I got hit a few times. Uh, let's see what we got. Hero power, power plus one. The amount of damage dealt during an attack. Okay. Treasure hunter. Get more treasures, 1.5%, or 1.5 times more likely. Okay, and your sneak percentage reduces by 5%, yeah. increments when used instead of 25%. 
I don't really want to sneak by. I mean, I, I guess like unless I'm like low on health. Um, it's between the first and the last one. There's a po power of one. is It's not a lot, but it does help. The sneaking seems pretty beneficial, though. So, so I have certain cards that will buff up an attack, so I'm not too worried about it. Alright, we have a couple more. Uh, let's see. Okay. Peel? Uh, poise? I don't know how to say that. Uh, devotee offers to purge your deck of impurities. Mm. I honestly don't want to remove anything. Oh, this one still allows you to do it. Okay, cool. I'm not sure why I missed out on the last one, but... Two-sided portal, okay. So we've got portals that zap you around the dungeons and stuff like that. I'm curious about these doors, though sealed door. The door is sealed shut from the outside. You'll need to find another way. So I'm, I'm assuming these are all sealed doors. Okay. And this one too. Giant door with aging battle scars blocks your path. You'll need to explore. Okay. That's fine. Figured I'd take a look at that. Alright, let's go ahead and go to this uh, two-sided portal. Alright, when you have these, they give you a normal path or a dark path. Uh, which is more challenging. So, I mean... I'm not really about that life right now. <laughs> door open. As you step through the portal, you hear a screeching of gears and a deep rumble as the giant door to the next room opens before you. Oh. So, this one? Oh, this one. Okay. And we'll we'll do this we'll do this battle and then we'll we'll stop it there. I just kind of wanted to give you uh give you a showcase uh, so expectations of you know of the game everything like that see what you're getting into but uh let's check the enemy deck real quick all right may attack up to the number of squares indicated away gain leap four until the end of your turn leap may travel up the number of squares indicated over the other units in a single move oh that's crazy Okay. After two turns, destroy this minion and summon a lizard warrior in its place. Okay, okay. Alright, this might be a tough one, but let's go for it. Okay. Everything looks good to me. We got some pretty pretty decent cards to start out with. Oh dang, so they got they got eggs already out here. That's crazy. Alright. Keep that dude in my hand. Oh no, the hand's gonna get discarded. Dang, that's right. Ah, uh, it sucks. <laughs> so I missed out on using the, uh, being able to attack off of it, so. Let's get as close as we can. I know I'm not exactly close, but <laughs> oh dang <laughs> I knew it yeah so he, he can attack multiple squares and with that leaving ability he just dang that's crazy okay that is crazy alright since you're doing that and I'm kind of trapped right now keep him down there. I got two mana left, so might as well keep him from moving. Is he, I think he can still jump over cards, though, is what it's saying. But we'll see how this turns out. Yeah, keep him guarding this guy. Okay, so those snakes are definitely out there now. 
Uh. Okay. Oh, you placed a card there. Oh, it sucks. All right, let's uh. It takes a mana to use this, but how do I? How do I place it? Hmm. I have to figure that out. Oh, is that how? It Okay. I have to see how that works. I'm still uh, a little in the dark on that. Okay. Uh, and these things have shields on them too. This is ridiculous. And you can't attack the sleeping cards because they haven't. Oh, you can. Okay. I'm thinking. Let's see. Um, we got two mana, so let's go ahead and get some more cards, kind of protecting my main card here. Alright, that's going to go down, attack this. Get these shields off. Alright. See, I need to get this guy out of the corner. He has like the strongest attack right now. Sorry for the plane going over. It's just <laughs> we're actually near a uh, military air force base. So every now and then we'll hear some planes if you heard that or not. I don't know. But where are you jumping? Oh dang. So that, that allows you to move and attack multiple spaces? Oh man that's that's so broken. Um Boom, there we go. It's really not that hard when you think about it because they only have, s the enemy only has so many cards in, in their deck. So I'm not sure about that as far as a difficulty um, issue or anything like that. So that is interesting though, now that I think about it. Exhaust a random minion in your hand and ignite a unit equal to the exhausted minion's power. Okay. The, excuse me, the amount of damage dealt during an attack. Okay. Apply charges of burn to the defender. Each turn they take damage equal to the number of charges stacked and lose one charge. Uh, not moving removes this effect. Okay. Um, let's see what we got here. Uh, enchanted Great Shield negates all damage suffered in one instance. Remove this effect at the start of your turn. Treasures you find in the dungeon can be converted into gold when you escape or when you complete floor. Okay. Mm, definitely getting more technical here. I kind of want to grab this one and this one since they're specialty cards. I don't have too many of them. So we'll do that. All right. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll stop it here. Um, I've got a couple of fights that I need to do uh, whenever I jump back into it. But yeah, um, and also as well, uh, if you like, um, if you're liking this so far and actually want me to resume it uh, in the form of a, like a. Uh, a live stream or another let's play kind of just keep it moving like a series uh definitely put it down in the comments and uh let me know and i'll definitely i'll definitely do that and i'm definitely more than happy to uh oh put that away <laughs> more than happy to make that happen so yeah dungeon top um sp spell swords cards dungeon top uh pretty pretty interesting concept uh for a strategy card game um I like the different approach that it's taking um, with the kind of grid based uh, grid tile based system they have um, it will be interesting if some cards can attack diagonal or something like that maybe there are some that exist I just haven't gotten that far but uh, yeah um, we're going to stop it here and uh, if you like what you saw definitely like comment subscribe remember to keep it locked to Snowly Games for all of your indie game third party game 
tech review coverage and sometimes nintendo and retro games thrown in the mix and also huge shout out to cubic games for providing the code for me to check this out and showcase it on the channel thanks so much and uh y'all take care